Welcome to episode one of Battle of the Brands. I am the wrestling guy joined by the chairman of the board and today we are kicking off this brand new series here on the channel. If you haven't watched our draft video please go and check that out. That was a lot of fun uh, where we built our rosters ready for our shows. I have gone with Xavier Woods on WCW and the chairman has gone with Tyler Breeze on NXT 2.0. Yeah. So we're going to plan out episode one for you guys here today. So how it's going to work is while the other person's building their shows, the other person's going to take away, get, give them some time to actually build their shows on their own and then we'll come back together at the end when I replay our shows out and see who comes out on top at the end of week one. Excellent. Yeah, really looking forward to this. Really excited about this. We had a lot of fun with it last year, so uh, let's see how, how we get on with it this year. Um, yeah, if you guys do go on to enjoy, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe as always. And when you're ready, Chem, we will begin. Okay, yeah. Before we start, though, um, yeah. did you find an envelope on your clipboard? Uh... No, I ain't got anything. Okay, I've, I've received a mysterious envelope on my clipboard with a question mark on it. So let's have a look and see what this is all about. Mm. Interesting. Mm. Okay. To the wrestling guy and the chairman of the board. So, you think you have what it takes to be general managers, do you? Don't make me laugh. You two idiots couldn't manage your way out of a wet paper bag. Wow. Harsh. Okay. Harsh. And to prove it, I am going to set you both an additional challenge to go with your silly wrestling game. I call it the Rising Star Challenge. Mm, mm. Okay. For this week, you both need to buy a made-up wrestler from the free agents to join your roster. Choose wisely because my future challenges will be based on your Rising Star. You won't know when or where, but you will receive more challenges from me. Ooh. Failure will not be tolerated. Not completing one of my challenges will result in severe consequences. Wow. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if you two can step up to the challenge. Are you GM punks or GM flunks? Ha 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 ha. Weird. And it's signed HP. HP. Who do we know as HP? Why the hell would Harry Potter be setting us wrestling challenges? I, I don't know, but this, um, <laughs> this, I don't like the sound of this severe consequences thing, so I think we better, uh, no, better, better do run. what it says. So, look. Yeah. Right, okay, so we're going to have to get ourselves a, a rising talent to go onto our rosters then. Okay. Mm, okay. That's going to be interesting. To make, I haven't planned that into my, into my plans for this first week at all, no. so that's completely throwing a huge spanner in the works there. Okay. Um, so it looks like you're going first, so I will hand... You're going to hand me that one? Right, and okay. I will pop my headphones on. You get yourself soon now. I will see you in a bit. Okay. Right then, guys, let's have a look and see what we can do with NXT 2.0. So, Triple H starts us off with... Breeze, good to talk to you. Just checking in to make sure NXT 2.0 is ready for the new season. Feeling confidence? Uh, and we'll go with either I'll try not to let you down or I was born for this. Let's go with I was born for this. Let's be a bit, yeah, let's be a bit cocky for this. Uh, I was born for this. Triple H says, good. I'm expecting big things from NXT 2.0 this season. Make it an amazing show. Mm, okay, we'll see what we can do. Now, I have a message on here from Elias as well. Elias is saying, my friends and family have been waiting so long to see me compete live in Pittsburgh. Can't wait to entertain them tonight. So, guessing that's going to mean that I'm going to have to get Elias on my schedule on here. Right, first things first then, I need to select my champions. So, um, for the men's title, let's go with... The tribal chief, Let, we got to do it, haven't we? Roman Reigns, the big dog, let's, let's, let's have him as our champion. For the women's title, it's got to be, it's got to be my, got to be my girl, the nightmare, Rhea Ripley. Yeah, she's going to be my women's champion. So I'm happy with that. Uh, make sure I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm definitely okay with that. Right, let's confirm all that. Brilliant. Okay, so let's see what our challenges are for then. So, uh, we have to make sure that Elias makes an appearance in front of his home crowd this week. So we have to make him sure he's on here. Our commissioner goal from Triple H is going to be have your most popular available male face and heel fight each other this week. Ooh, okay. Hmm, okay. Uh, and then now we've also got these Hall of Fame uh, trophies as well on here. Um... I don't think we're going to manage anything like this just yet. We'll have a look at that as the, as things go on. So, okay, right. So we're going to have to make sure that we get Elias on here and we're going to have to book um, the face and heel against each other. Right, let's have a quick look. 
on here first of all. Right, now, I have set myself here a little schedule of things that I need to, I need to do on here. So, um, I wanna try and get belts out as quickly as I can. Um, and I also wanna make sure um, that I buy in some additional superstars as well. My roster is looking a little light compared to the wrestling guys, so I'm going to need to make sure that I get some uh, get some guys on here. So let's have a look at the free agents. We also need to make sure that we fill in that obligation to the mysterious HP um, and make sure we buy ourselves a uh, rising star as well. So let's have a look and see what we've got on here. Oh, we've got some good ones on here. I'm quite liking this. Um, right. Oh, Tim Burr is back. Oh, nice to see him back again. John the Fish Herman, uh, Kyle Slickman, Carrie Rush, Carolina Reaper. Uh, that's a chili, isn't it, I think? Um, Tim Burr, uh, Jody Garcia. I do like the look of Jody Garcia. Um, Dewey Carter. Dewey Carter, where do I know that name from? Um, Brute Force, Cinnamon Garrett. Uh, an Olaf Ostrovsky. Okay. Hmm. There's some interesting ones on there. Um, do you know what? Just because I really like the look of her and she will be a permanent talent as well. Um, I am going to go with Jodie Garcia. I really like that look on her. Um, let's sign her up. Brilliant. Right. We're going to sign her up. Great stuff. Right, okay, um, there's someone here that I like the look of, and there's a few, couple of these have got permanent contracts as well. Um, right, so what I am gonna do is I'm gonna come back out a second and I'm gonna go to my power card because I do have that reduce the price of your next three agents you purchased this week by 50%. Um, I'm gonna use that. Um, I didn't wanna use it on my Rising Star because they're cheap, they're cheap anyway. Um, I'd rather use it on these ones and make a bit more on them. So let's gonna get this one used. Okay. And I am gonna sign in uh, Shayna Baszler. Let's get Shayna Baszler in. Um, let's get Big E in as well. I like the look of that. Lovely job. And I am also going to sign in LA Knight as well. So I'm going to add a little bit extra to my roster. Excellent. I'm really happy with that. Okay. And right. That's looking good. Right. Okay. So let's have a look at now at the show itself and let's see what we've got. Right. So we've got to make sure that Elias makes an appearance and we have to get the most popular male and f uh, face and heel to fight each other. Right, so let's have a look and see who my most popular f men are. Uh, gender, right, okay, let's skip the women's. Right, so it's gonna be Roman Reigns versus Shinsuke Nakamura. I like that, that's good. We'll have that. We'll have that as our main event as well. And that's a bruiser and a fighter, so that actually works well as well. So I'm really happy with that. Um, do you know what? Just for the sake of it, let's put the title on the line as well. Let's make it a bit more interesting. We're not going to put in any interference on that, so I like that. Right, that's the main event sorted out already, and I've already filled in that obligation. That's a good start. Right, now I want to look at seeing if I can get some of these, um, get some of these mid-card titles in as well. So... Um, let's do, we've got to get Elias on here, so let's do Elias and let's do Logan Paul as his opponent. Uh, another fighter and bruiser matchup, so that's good on there, face versus heel. And let's put, let's get the, the um, title on the line and let's get, let's get these titles out as soon as we can so I'm really happy with that right so that's going to be for the North American title so I've got a title match as my opener a title match as my close good start let's have a quick look at the promos a second um, because I understand that you want to try and get your most oh uh, press the wrong one there um, you want to try and get your guys with the best promo um, ability 
on here. So, uh, promo skills, right. So Becky Lynch is a great promo worker, so is Cody, and so is Big E that I've just bought in, so that's good. Right, we're gonna get Becky Lynch to do a charity promo. That's good. Let's get... Um, can we get... Uh, who should we get? Right, let's get... Uh, Right, let's get Cody on here and he can do an advertising one. That's fine, we'll do that. And do you know what I'm gonna do? I am gonna do... I'm gonna do LA Knight in a role change. I'm gonna turn him heel. I think that would work better for me as well. I like that, good. Right, okay, let's have a look at this. Right now, I'm gonna put a tag match on, a normal tag match, and I'm gonna get the women in a tag match. I wanna get the women's titles, women's tag titles out quickly. So let's put, uh, I'm going to put uh, Shayna Baszler and oh, I haven't got enough face women now, have I? That's interesting. Ah, right. Okay, got myself up. Got, just kind of stuck myself a bit already. Right, let's take Becky out of this promo a sec, because I think we're gonna run into a problem otherwise. Let's put Big E in it instead. That's fine. Right, so let's go back to this then. Right, so let's do a tag match. Tag match, and we're gonna do, uh, ooh, get the females up. Females up, right. Let's do Shayna Baszler and Gigi Dolan. I like that's a team, that's a good team. Shayna Baszler and DG Joe Dolan versus Cora Jade and Becky Lynch. Okay, we're gonna get the tag match on. We're gonna get that in. That's perfect. Lovely. And then let's do ah. Right, okay, and then my last match, let's do Ivar versus JD McDonough in the mid card, that's all right. And we'll do that, that's good. Okay, right, let's make sure that we've filled in our obligations. We've got, oh, did we do, we've done Elias in the opener, that's good. We fulfilled Triple H's goal as well, that is good, I've got, Promo's going on, so that's all good. Um, and I've got title matches going on as well. I'm gonna do the men's tag team next week, I think. So that's completed that objective, that objective. Um, and I've bought, done that, I've done that, and I've done that. Right, I fulfilled in all my obligations and I've used some cards. Do I wanna buy any more power cards? I still have a decent budget. Um, Contract negotiations. It's good. Uh, one randomly put Iron Man match will receive a higher than normal rating. They're pretty good. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave those, I think, for this week. Uh, I really, yeah, I'm quite happy with what we've done there. There's some good stuff on there. Um, can't change any of these yet because they're all still on their normal ones because we've obviously got to work the weeks up. That's good. Do I want to buy anybody else in before before we're done? 
No, I'm all right on there. And do I want to sign any legends? Um, no, I think we're all right. I think I'm going to leave all of that for a moment. Right, okay. So, yep, really happy with all that. That's good. Right, we're going to get that all booked in. And that's all confirmed. So we've got some title matches on there. We've got all our promos on there as well. Let's see what this one does. So that one is all done. And now we're going to pass it back over to the wrestling guy. Let's see what he can do. Wow. Okay. All right. How was it? Uh, not bad. Not bad. I uh, had to make a couple of alterations, make some quick decisions, um, but really happy with the way it's laid out. So fingers crossed. Excellent. NXT 2.0 is going to kick some butt this week. Excellent. Um, right. My turn uh, right. for WCW. So I will pass you the headphones. I'm going to take the headphones. And All right. shall see you in a minute. <sighs> right. So my turn. So you've all seen how the chairman of the board's done. Hopefully um, he's done a good job on there for, for, for NXT 2.0. Let's see what WCW has got in store for us then. So Triple H has said, time for a new season and a new start. I want to see WCW doing better than NXT 2.0 this year. Oh, okay, so we're gonna say, um, not a problem. We plan to destroy them. Good, I expect you to deliver and I want to see WCW topping the ratings by the end of the season. Okie dokie, right, so, this is the first decision we need to make then. Who is gonna be the WCW World Champion? Um, now, I have got a bit of a plan that I am going by. Um, and the person I'm actually going to put the WCW World title on is going to be Finn Balor. So Finn Balor is gonna be our WCW World Champion on there. And for the women's title, I'm actually going to put the belt on JC Jane. So JC Jane's going to be our WCW Women's Champion on there. So we've got Balor and JC Jane, so I'm happy with that. Gives them um, an extra 10 popularity uh, for that one on there. So Triple H has said that our commissioner goal for this week is to have at least one steel cage match. Um, which actually plays perfectly into what my plan was because my plan was going to be to have the main event match. We we're going to do Finn Balor versus Brock Lesnar for the world title inside of a steel cage. Now, it also will up our chance of creating a rivalry by 50% as well. So 50% additional rivalry level chance on there for that one. And that's for a steel cage. We're gonna lock that in. Balor versus Brock Lesnar for the WCW world title in the main event inside of a steel cage. So that's gonna be our main event match on there. I'm pretty happy with that for the main event. Um, now obviously we did hear that we have got to sign a free agent. We have got to sign one of these local talents on here. So got some interesting choices. We've got Dewey Carter, Brute Force, Cinnamon Garrett, John the Fisherman Herman. Um, now the question is, do we want to go for a man or a woman? Kyle Slickman, he's looking pretty, pretty good on there. Um, I think we might actually go for him because I think out of all of these, I actually like him the most. I'm tying between Tim Burr and Kyle Slickman at the moment, um, as the as those two, she's pretty cool as well, Carrie Rush. Um, but I think we're gonna go for a man. I'm gonna I'm gonna take Kyle Slickman. So Kyle Slickman is going to be our um, local talent that we're gonna bring in, um, and we're gonna see what we can do with him. So I think we'll have him cut a promo for this week. So Kyle Slickman is there. Um, have you got anybody that he can call out? Because that would be awesome if he could call out, if he could call somebody out. Right, so we've got Carl Stakeman. He is a fighter and he is a heel. So we need a somebody for him to feud with. Um actually I think we'll just have him cut a promo this week. We're gonna we're not gonna throw him straight in the deep end. 
Um, we'll have him cut a promo and see what we can do with him on there with that one. Um, our opener match is going to be between the champion JC Jane and the EST Bianca Belair and that's going to also be a title match. Um, I don't know if I'm just going to do a normal title match on here for this one. Um, because we have got to think about the money on here. So yeah, I'm going to go for just a normal match there. We're going to put the women's title on the line for that one. Um, our next match is going to be Gunther versus... Oh, um... Yeah. Gunther versus Axiom for the mid-card title. I'm going to make that a tables match. So the hardcore title there is going to be Axiom and Gunter. Um, let's throw the hardcore title in the tables match. And then I'm a bit of a loss with this third match. Because I, I need... Let's have a quick look at my notes here. I need a... So what is... Dana Brooke is a face bruiser, so I need a heel fighter that can go up against a heel fighter. Oh, this is this is a tough one. We need a heel fighter that can go alongside. Actually, Lita will work, won't she? I think Lita might work actually. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm go we're gonna sign Lita. So we're gonna sign Lita, and then in this match we're gonna do a tag title match. Women's tag title match is gonna be Alexa Bliss and Lita versus Raquel Rodriguez and Zoe Stark. So that's gonna be our mid card match there for the women's tag titles. I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out because that was the match that I was a bit kind of stressed, stressing out about. So happy with that. Um, I'm gonna have Seth Rollins call out Edge, because that's another rivalry that I would like to have a look at starting. And then I think we're just gonna do a, a nice little charity promo on here. Um, do you know, let's give it to Roxanne Perez. I think Roxanne Perez do a good job, I think, doing a charity promo. Um, so that's all of that out of the way. Uh, we've done a good job with that. We'll randomly but steel cage match on your show will receive a higher than normal rating. Essential for current legends contracts by five sets. So Superstar from an amazing brand. Okay, I think we're going to save those. These up here are what's interesting at the minute. There's $50,000 there for a steel cage one. That's guaranteeing us to probably get a really good rating there on that main event. Um, and I think an early on we're going to have to go for it, so I'm going to buy that one. It has wiped us out a little bit, but I think it's going to be worth it, and I'm actually going to use it as well. Real steel, we're going to confirm that one. We're going to apply that, and that should apply to our main event. So I think we're pretty much sorted out here, guys. So I there's going to be a women's title match between JC Jane and Bianca Belair. Uh, and that's just going to be a normal match. We're going to have Kyle Slickman, our new local talent sign in there. He is going to be doing a self promo. Gunter is going to be going up against Axiom for the hardcore title. We are going to have Seth Rollins and Edge go at it. We are going to have Alexa Bliss and Lita up against Raquel Rodriguez and Zoe Stark for the women's tag titles. Roxanne Perez is going to cut a charity promo. And our main event is going to be Finn Balor versus Brock Lesnar for the WCW world title in a steel cage match. Um, so I'm pretty happy with the way this card looks. I think I've done everything that I wanted to do on here. So we're gonna confirm that 65,500, that's quite a high show cost, but I think it's gonna be worth it. So we're gonna confirm that and we will get back to the chairman of the board and see what happens on here with this one. Oh, all right. All done on that. Okay. Wow. Right. That's intense. Oh, 
Do you know what? I've looked back through some of the things I've done and I've realized I've made a couple of silly little mistakes. Okay. Um, but they're things I can rectify next week. So I'm a little, okay, bit, okay. Nerd, little bit worried about this one already. So we'll see how this goes. Right. Not too bad. All right. Okay. okay. Right. So here we are then. So let's start with uh, NXT 2.0's opening match, which is uh, a one on one match between Elias and Logan Paul. And Ooh. this is for the North American title. Okay. So let's see what happens on this one. One, two, three. Ooh. And Elias comes out on top. And that's good as well. I had to fulfill um, a um obligation to him because it was in, in his hometown ah, so right, i had okay. to do that one yeah. well, sorry i had family and friends in so i had to fulfill that one so i had yeah. to get him on the card so okay. but that's good i'm happy with that that's a good start okay uh big e has done a charity promo oh, an excellent one as well uh, up five thousand so that's really good i'm happy with that okay mid card another title match we have uh gg dolan and the newly acquired Shayna baszler oh. uh, going up against cora jade and becky lynch for the women's tag team titles let's see how this one turned out one two three oh. and we have new tag team type champions Shayna baszler and gg dolan another good on there what a great um, i'm happy with that well. and it started a rivalry as well so yeah. that's really good really positive about that cody rhodes Oh, okay, only got an okay on his pro on his mm, advertising okay. promo. Okay, made a little bit of extra cash. That's good, but his yeah. popularity's gone down, which is a shame. Yeah. Okay, might need to work on that one then. Okay, my second mid card match then, just a standard one on one match. Uh, the the giant Ivar versus the cruiser J D McDonough. Let's see how this one turned out. One, two, three. Oh, Ivar came out on top. That's right. A mediocre. Okay, I'm not going to worry about that too much because it is the yeah. mid card, so I'm not going to worry about that one. Okay, the newly acquired L A Knight has done a change. We've got a role change. He's gone wow. from a face okay. to a heel. So wow. um, that went okay. So. I'm happy with that. That's all right. And then my main event, uh, my my Triple H challenge was to have my best face and best heel go against oh. each other. So um, the NXT 2.0 champion, Roman Reigns, going up against Shinsuke Nakamura was my main event. And I decided, let's put the title on the line as well. Why let's not? make it a little bit more exciting on there. Let's see how this one went. One, two, three. <gasps> Oh. Okay, wow. we have a champion. Oh, okay, that, and a four-star match as well. As excellent. Wow. Okay, I'm really ha and that started another rivalry as well. So all in all, pretty good. Pretty yeah, good. Not right. bad at all. On okay. There. Right. Okay. So over to WCW. We've got a bit of a, a bit of a way to go with this one because um, that was a strong start there for you. Happy um, with that. So we'll see really what happens happy with on that. this one. So our opener is the WCW Women's Champion JC Jane okay. defending against Bianca Belair in a one-on-one -on -one match for the title. So let's see what happens with this one. Oh, oh okay. new champion already. New champion. The first match. So I got two and a half stars, but it has started a rivalry. So I'm fairly happy with that. Okay. My new local talent sign-in, Kyle oh, Slickman. Slickman. Um, my selection wasn't particularly great, but I did like the look of him. I thought, we'll be yeah, I kind of went for mine on looks as well. Yeah. I didn't put mine on this week, but I will show you next week. Yeah, okay. yeah. So Carl Slipman on there, you got a good promo. So that's good. His, pop his popularity's gone up a slight bit on there as well. Um, our mid first mid card match is a tables match between Gunther and Axiom. And it's for the hardcore title, so okay. you've got to make it. I tell a you what, that back. would be a cracking match. Yeah, I'd love yeah, to see that'd that. That would be great. Yeah. On there. So let's have a look and see how this one happens. Gunther picks up Gunther. the win, and he is the new champion. That's three and a half stars on there. So, kind of maybe should have put that as the opener, but yeah. not too bad on there. We'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Seth freaking Rollins has called out Edge, um, and that started a rivalry on there as well. Okay. Um, a good rivalry, so that's, I'm happy with that. Um, I had to buy a heel to team up with Alexa Bliss, so I've gone with Lita. Okay. Um, so, Alexa Bliss and Lita versus Raquel Rodriguez and Zoe Stark. For the women's tag titles, Raquel Rodriguez and Zoe Stark on there, and that's three stars as well, so not too bad so far. Roxanne Perez cuts us a charity promo and is an excellent, so we get an extra 5,000 fans on there. Cool. And then the big one, now my commissioner goal for this week was to have a steel cage match. Oh, okay. So I thought, wow, this, is, this has to be the one. This has to be the one to have a steel cage match. So we have got the WCW World Champion Finn Balor versus Brock Lesnar for the title 
in a steel cage. So that would be. <laughs> what, I, I would watch that. I yeah. would. That'd be fantastic. What, what more could you want from a match than that? that and it's brilliant. the main event on there. So let's see what happens. That's got to do well, surely. Let's see what happens on here. Brock Lesnar has beaten him. Whoa! A five-star match as well. And it's a five-star <laughs> match. Wow. Oh my god! Not too bad on there at all. Uh, so okay. Brock Lesnar has won the title. We've got a complete clean sheet of new champions across the board. Wow. <sighs> what a wow. what a set of opening shows that was. What a way to open a show. Wow. Okay. Right. That is not bad at all. So having a look at those stats then. So um, my opener did well yeah. compared to yours. Um, mid card, yep, yeah, was... Yeah, mid card yeah. was sort of fairly even, and then my second mid card dropped, which I thought it was going to do anyway. Yeah, um, I thought I'd done well on that main event until you pulled out a five star main event. I think it was like, the steel cage wow. that made the difference. Yeah, I think the, the mistake cage. I made was I didn't book any special type of matches. Yeah. I just booked just simple matches um, yeah. from my first one. That was the mistake that I made. I think um, what I've done is I've. I think you've got the right order with yours. I think I probably should have put that tables match. As the That's opener, yeah. and had a more of a balanced yeah. card all the way through. So, yeah, we live and we learn. It's only episode one. We've got a long way to go. Yeah. Yet, so, yeah. long, long way to go. Yeah. So, um, not a bad start in there at all. So, okay. let's see let's how you got on then. Let's have a quick look through then. So, show quality D, match card quality B. That's well, good. That's I'm happy good. with that. So, um, that's all really good. So, we have, uh, we've increased our fan base. We now have an additional 48,409, mm. uh, which is good on there. Uh, we made a nice profit on nice there as well. 55,694. So, that's boosted my total budget up to uh, 644,544. That's wow. going to help because I have some plans for next week um, so I need to make sure that I have that little bit of budget there which I have got that's that's good so have a quick look at the show notes uh, squared spear NA good show tonight NXT 2.0 happy with that excellent uh, King Outlaw 94 uh, Becky Lynch and Cora Jade work really well together as a tag team excellent Ooh. yep happy with that um, Shane Baser, uh, better luck next time, Cora Jade. Maybe you should hit the gym a little more. Ooh, Ooh. bit of uh, bit of back talk already. Nothing. Love it, I love it. Okay, uh, Summer Savage, uh, Shinsuke Nakamura versus Roman Reigns was great. Good fit of classes between them. Excellent. Um, Wrestle Bro seventy nine, Biggie just killed it with that charity promo. He certainly did. Excellent. Fighter Warrior, LA Knight, a bad guy. Never saw it coming. Really? Mm. Really? Uh, I think he makes a better bad guy. So. <laughs> uh, Logan Paul, uh, crowd distracted me and Elias took advantage. So desperate, you're all pathetic. We've got a rivalry going on yeah. there, so we'll, we'll, we'll see that happen again. Don't worry. Um, tonight's NXT 2.0 started strong and ended strong. I like it. Thanks, Rule Dude. Uh, keyboard Disciple Mega, I liked the, every match and this week's 2.0 felt different from the last one. Ke kept me interested. Okay, yeah, I think that's... Mm, yeah, I, think I could have done with putting some different styles on there, but hey, specialist cultist Cody Rhodes trying to sell us stuff tonight, but at least it was fairly entertaining. Again, Ooh. yeah, I can't couldn't use everybody for everything, so yeah. um, and I was hoping that his um, promo would have gone a little better, but hey ho, it's not too bad. I'm happy with that. It's a good, it's a good start. It's a good so start, good start. yeah, I'm very happy good with first that. Week. So let's see what. Uh, okay, so on here we have got a show quality D and match card quality B okay, matching yours, so that's good. Yeah, a uh, healthy fan. Um, Badger, increase yeah. in there so we got 57,320 fans but we did make a loss this week Ooh. of $494 uh, dollars. I think that might be to do with um, the having to put the steel cage which yeah. is a little pricey and um, that tables match as well it, it's, it's all things you've got to take into account mm. but I think it's important in the first week to get hold of that commissioner goal so yeah um, and I did have to buy Lita as well um, because I forgot to buy somebody doing the, during the draft. So, okay, uh, we'll take it. It's not too bad. On early the days, on there. Early, early days. days. Um, we don't have quite a healthy amount of budget as the chairman has got, um, but still not bad. Uh, $259,906. Uh, we, can, we can work with that. Uh, undefeated Champion 2000. Hell of a show, WCW. Hashtag WCW. Can't argue not with that. Too bad. Um, where did Carl Slipman come from? Lol. Uh, Keep an eye out for Carl Slipman. He's, uh, he's, he's working his way up. 
Um, can't wait to see more of Lita. She's an absolute classic. Grew up watching Lita. Awesome to see her again. Yeah, always good to get a legend in there as well mm -hmm. sometimes. Um, and she was needed for the show. Finn Balor, what a fluke. Try me again, Brock Lesnar. It won't happen twice. I have a feeling a certain somebody's going to be in my inbox when we load up for a, uh, for a week to ask him for a rematch. Yeah. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, we'll have to keep an eye out for that. Yeah. Um, don't know what WCW was thinking with that opening match. Maybe more people would have stuck around if they started with Axum and Gunther. Yeah, I recognise that you straight just away. Said that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, something to keep in mind going forward. Now, Carl Slickman doing good work on that mic to like keep the audience entertained. Good. That's why I wanted. I wanted. Hit, I didn't want to chuck him into anything too quickly. Get him out there so fans can see his face. Um, and I'm glad he made a good first impression. Um, Lesnar crowned as new champion tonight hashtag WCW yeah um, we had a new women's and a men's champion on there so mm -hmm. things getting shaken up in the first week uh, Raquel Rodriguez gets the win over Lita um, yeah maybe going to see another match between those two soon Lesnar versus Finn Balor was awesome their wrestling class classes fit each other so well yeah um, that was the match that I was heavily looking forward to out of that of all yeah. of those um, and a really varied show added to the quality. Keep it up, WCW. Yeah, some nice comments on there. Happy with all of that. So I would say, out of, out of um, our lack of experience on the game, we actually did pretty well this week. Yeah. With the, the two of us on there. Yeah. I see you completed your commissioner okay. goal as yeah, well. Yeah, I completed my commissioner goal for this week. So I have been awarded with a health spa level three card, uh, which will really, yeah, which always comes in really, really useful. And I got the same. you got the same as well for yeah. WCW. Okay, so yeah, so a good start. So if we have a look at those scores on there, Xavier Woods comes out on top for week one. So well done, uh, wrestling guy. That's uh, up for the first week. So uh, there's about a, about a 9,000 gap there. So we'll uh, we'll have to do a bit of work um, to get up on that. Yeah. Um, I do have the advantage of that healthier budget on my side. To, yeah. So I will... Uh, we'll look into that. Look at Xavier Woods dissing, uh, dissing Brock Lesnar there by putting his yeah, folder in front of his face. Ooh. Careful, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I see you've, uh, you picked Rhea Ripley as your champion as well. Oh, uh, I had to pick Rhea Ripley as my women's yeah, champion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's not been, she wasn't on this week, yeah. but uh, look out, we might, we might well see her next week. Yeah. So, um, But yeah, all in all, a good start on there. Happy with the way it went. I think yeah. we both uh, we both made some good moves. We both made a couple of little yeah. mistakes, but early days. Early days, it's only we'll episode one. Yeah. Uh, we've got a long way to go yet. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed episode one. Uh, if you did, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. Keep an eye out for episode two. It will be up on the channel very, very soon. You're not going to want to miss that one because if there's anything like this one, it's going to be great. And also, if you haven't checked our draft out, um, please be sure to go and check that one out because that was a cracking episode as well. Yeah. On also, if anybody knows who this mysterious HP is, do let us know in the comments. I'm still racking my brain. Yeah, I was, I was having a think when I was waiting. I, yeah. yeah, Harry Potter's the only thing that's popping in my head. But yeah, Harry Potter, we're coming for you. Yeah, I don't <laughs> see what, what he's got with wrestling, but we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Hopefully they're not making another film. No, sorry. Um, <laughs> but if you guys do want to enjoy the episode, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.